Welcome viewers, welcome to my channel. Amidst of coronavirus pandemic, I have decided to make home videos for you all guys who are studying in BN and MN. So today's topic is language and this is the first chapter of pedagogy of English. So I have decided to make a video on this particular topic. So let's talk about language. What language is? Language comes from a root word lingua which means tongue. Bloch and Trigger has given a definition which fits well to this particular word. He said, language is a set of arbitrary vocal symbols by means of which a social group communicates. That means language is very essential to communicate in a society. Let's talk about characteristics. So language has four characteristics. The first one is semanticity. Now, what is semanticity? It is a quality of language in which words are used as symbols for objects, events, or ideas. Now, this is very important to know that language has words and words take the meaning of objects or events or ideas. For example, I have marker in my hand. When I show you the marker, the word marker comes to your mind. But when I remove this object and I say marker, then particularly at the time, this particular object comes to your mind. That means the word marker has taken an image of or the idea of marker. This particular property of language is called as semanticity. The second is syntax or it may be called as grammar. So every language has a grammar or rules in a language for placing words. That particular property is called as syntax. The third property is productivity. It is the capacity to combine words in original sentences. When we put words together, they form meaningful sentences. And this is one of the properties of or one of the characteristics of language. The fourth and the final one is displacement. According to this property or this characteristics, the huge or bulk of knowledge can be transmitted from person to person or from generation to generation. This is called as displacement. So the books we read has been printed somewhere or by some other person and then it comes to our hand. This is called displacement. So language has this property of displacing our knowledge from one place to another place. Now let's talk about nature. Language is a system. Now, generally system is, system, uh, system is complex and it is a process. So, the language is a system because it is, it is combination of words, sounds and structures. That is why language is a system. Language is learned. So, we learn language from our society, within our family and within our peer group too. Okay, language is spoken. That is, it's spoken. Language is a set of, system of symbols. That is, words put together in correct manner or grammatically in a way grammar it is. Now language is unique that is it's unique and God gift to mankind that is why it is unique for Indians they speak Hindi and it's very unique in its, in its features in its symbols in its vocal uh, sounds that that is why language is called unique language is dynamic that is it has various uh, outputs. It, it can be used dynamically. It can, be, it can be transferred from one place to another place. We can trade knowledge through this uh, language. We can use it for communication. That is why it is called dynamic. Language is based on culture. For Indians, we have our own culture. And the words we use are culture specific. So the words we find in Hindi may not have possible uh, synonyms or possible uh, substitutes in other language. So every language has is based on culture. And finally, language is for communication. We use language for communication. And this is why it's very important. That is why it's very important to have language, or to study language in depth because generally we use language for communication. So that's all for today. Uh, we will continue the lecture in another part. Please uh, like my videos, share my videos, subscribe to my channel 
and please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that videos I upload you may not miss it thank you so much